it's red, it's sour, it's the longest beer of the year. Today, we're drinking Sour Solstice. Hey guys, it's Jim from drtankenstein.com with another episode of Beers of the British Isles, the series where I sample and review beers from the Isles of supermarkets all across Britain. In this episode, I'm going to be trying Sour Solstice by London Beer Factory. Now, Sour Solstice is at base, it's a sour wheat beer. It's a Berliner Weiss. Now, a Berliner Weiss is a, a traditional wheat beer, you know, 50% uh, fifty percent wheat malt in, in the grist. Uh, you would use sort of traditional German hops, if any, you know, they're not typically hop to a great extent, but they're then fermented with, uh, lact with a lactobacillus bacteria, which gives it the sourness. It produces lactic acid during the fermentation. Um, and produces lactic acid. Now, of course, you would also use a yeast in this uh, along with, with the bacteria, but that's for the brewers to worry about. Typically, these beers are hazy. They are very highly carbonated. They're quite thin uh, and, of course, very sour. London Beer Factory and this beer have chosen to add grapefruit and cranberries to the beer uh, which is okay uh, you know cranberries and grapefruit traditionally these beers or not traditionally I guess nowadays these beers are sometimes drunk with uh, almost like a syrup added to them so so you, you get these kind of wonderful creations where you'll have like a, a pink Berliner Weiss and because they're, they're hazy because because of all the the wheat and all the yeast in there because they're so hazy and they're coloured, they, they kind of glow, you know, they, they look they look really cool. So I guess that's what they're going for here uh, with this uh, with this beer that's supposed to be uh, a contrast between summer and winter solstice. Um, we'll, I guess we'll, we'll be the judge of that if we can. It's 4% alcohol, uh, ABV. Nothing about the IBUs, or I couldn't find anything about the IBUs, but in a Berliner Weiss, that just really doesn't matter. If you're worried about the IBUs in a Berliner Weiss, I think you uh, you want to go somewhere else. Now, before I dive in, I'm going to give you my thoughts of what I'm expecting. Like I said, I've uh, I expect sourness, haziness, uh, carbonation. I already said this beer is supposed to be. Uh, a contrast between summer and winter solstice. So in this sour, light-bodied, highly carbonated beer, they've chosen to put lactose in it. I don't know why. So, so lactose is a sugar. Lactic acid, and it kind of sounds similar, is, is an acid. So sugar is sweet, acid is sour. Why they would mix those two together, I don't know. If, they, if they're really going for that sourness, um, I, I don't I don't know the, the thought process behind that. Lactose also can kind of give you a boost in the body as well. So I mean even even that's kind of kind of weird. So you know, looking forward to finding out how that plays out. These things are usually quite refreshing and very Moorish. So hopefully it will be. Okay, so I'm wasting no time here. I'm gonna dive straight in. So this is nice and cold to keep the carbonation in. As you can see, lovely red color there in the beer. I guess that's the cranberries and the, the pink grapefruit. Um, it does have quite a lot of sparkle to it. The head has disappeared, which I guess is okay. These, because of the acid content in this, uh, you would imagine the head would suffer. Uh, if you uh, want to know more about that, I've got a, quite a lengthy blog article on uh, on foam that you can go read on drtangenstein.com. Um, 
But basically, low pH, acidic pH, sour pH, ruins head, head retention. So that's not such a big deal. It's quite hazy, uh, but I can kind of see, I've probably left a bit of haze in the can here. You know, if I'd have shook it up or whatever, then probably would have been more haze. Enough about the appearance. Let's see what it smells like. Okay, so there's not, there's not a lot of smell. What I will say is it doesn't smell fruity, which is a good sign, I think. It does kind of smell, this, sound, this sounds, it's gonna sound strange, but it smells acidic. It doesn't smell like vinegar. That's a whole different acid. It doesn't smell like vinegar, it smells acidic. It, oh, how do I describe that, that acid smell without sounding horrible? Uh, it's not necessarily a pleasant smell. It can often, if it was really strong, it would remind me of the smell of vomit. This doesn't, I'm not saying this smells like vomit. It just smells acidic. Right, let's, uh, bottoms up. Mm, okay. All right, okay, that's that's quite good. Right, so, first thing I noticed when I, when I took a sip was the carbonation. Carbonation hits you right in the tongue straight away. That's the, that's the first thing you feel. Now, because this is a sour beer as well, it's, you know, it's soured. Um, I don't know how they've soured it, whether they've added the acid or not. Because it's, it's sour, that does kind of, that does emphasize the, um, the carbonation. So carbon dioxide in solution is an acidic thing. It kind of, when, when you're sensing carbonation on your tongue, it's like, it's a pain receptor. It's actually a pain receptor that's feeling that. So the fact that there's acid in there as well, like extra acid, different acid, of course, um, that kind of enhances the, the feel of the carbonation. And the body's very light, as I suggested it would be, or should be, sorry, not would be, should be. Uh, the body's very light, and again, that, that kind of helps the beer just go down a little bit. It is nice and sour. The, the lactose is pretty, or the sweetness, sorry, not the lactose. The sweetness that I'm guessing is from the lactose is pretty obvious. You can taste it, but it's nice. It kind of gives it a sort of... Uh, so it gives it almost a, a lambic style feel if you've ever ever had a lambic beer. But see, because, don't forget, this is a sour Berliner Weiss. It's not a sour beer. It's a sour Berliner Weiss. So you can have some beers that are so sour that they just make your face curl up into a ball. Berliner Weiss isn't supposed to be like that. So maybe that little bit of sweetness in the background is a good thing. And it's, it is quite pleasant. It, it's... It's nice. After that, after that's gone, then you get the cranberry. What I'm assuming is cranberry. I don't eat a lot, a lot of cranberries. I'm guessing that's the cranberry. Um, and pink grapefruit. When I was a kid, I used to hate grapefruits. Uh, I feel like grapefruits have changed. Uh, you yeah, know, if you have like a fruit, a grapefruit, I, th I feel like they've changed. Um, but I mean, that color is just great, isn't it? That, that color is grapefruit. I don't know if they've used the juice or the rind or whatever, um, but it's pretty good. Yeah, Moorish. I'm gonna say I, I could drink a full one, that's for sure. Now the brewery that makes this beer, uh, London Beer Factory, are based in London. They're based on the, on the Beer Mile in Bermondsey, uh, where loads of other breweries are based also. Uh, no, they make they make loads of beer. I've had uh, I've had a couple of beers of theirs, and uh, and they're quite good to be honest. They are all, or they seem to all be hazy. Which I don't know if that's just the time we're in where hazy beers kind of rule. Uh, but they are all hazy. They're all kind of this uh, sort of unfiltered, un unpasteurized not unpasteurized but un unfiltered kind of thing, uh, which is fine. You know, I I, I don't mind that. Uh, They've recently gone through a bit of a rebrand, so if you if you see the can uh, here, has kind of a, kind of an abstract sort of 
It just looks like someone's like paint, like slap paint on it, like a bit of a Jackson Pollock type thing. Um, they used to have like little characters on there, and it was all kind of tied in. But I guess this is a bit cleaner. It's a bit sort of a bit sort of modern, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't mind it. But one th one thing they do do, uh, and they still do, which which I kind of which I kind of like because everybody else has kind of turned their back on this, is they still do these kind of three three sixty degree cans. Uh, so. You know, you, you kind of, instead of just a standard ring pull, which kind of really reveals a little hole, you kind of pull pull the whole top off. Um, I think these were invented in, in in South Africa for the World Cup. When it, when it was the World Cup in South Africa, I think I think they were invented as like a, a way that, that people could, that, that companies could sell someone like a cup of beer that they could drink that would still have like a logo on it. That's what I've heard anyway. Um, but I, I don't mind it. It kind of gives you the idea that this was supposed to be drunk in the park kind of thing and in, in, in a legal way, you know, uh, kind of drank, drink in the park or at an event or something. It's quite cool. I kind of like it and nobody else is, is sort of doing that that nowadays. Uh, so yeah, their own little kind of, own kind of mark. One last sip. It's pleasant, pleasant, uh, good carbonation, which obviously disappears. You, you can't really base it on that, but it's nice and pleasant. It's pleasantly sour too. Uh, what, whatever the reason they added that lactose, I think it works. Uh, I was dubious at first, as I always am, uh, but I think that adding that lactose, I, I mean, I don't know how sour it was before they added that little extra sweetness, but it really works. It's kind of nicely balanced. It's 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 a real nice level, you know. It hits you on the way in, but then it, it, it gets out your way straight away and reveals this nice kind of cranberry uh, cranberry flavor, I guess. Uh, grapefruit, I don't really get that much. Let me just check. Yeah, the grapefruit, I'm not so sure on. Um, it definitely, it's definitely the color of grapefruit. Which, you know, is is nice. It, it it looks great, and it would look cool in a glass as well. You can imagine, you know, if you bought this in a bar, you know, people might ask you what it is because it looks cool. I don't know. It's a real nice color anyway. Um, so I don't like to rate beers out of ten because uh, everything always ends up about seven. Uh, instead, what I will say is, if this beer were a song, and maybe you could listen to this as you drink it, it would be. Cantaloupe Island by Herbie Hancock. The reason being, there's a lot going on in this beer. A lot going on. A lot to look at. A lot of tastes going on. Some some smells. You know, there's just there's a lot going on in this beer, and I and I like it. It's pleasant, but I probably wouldn't listen to it again, in a hurry. If that makes sense. But I do recommend you get down to the supermarket your local bottle shop, grab yourselves a Sour Solstice by London Beer Factory and let me know what you think. If you like this, definitely, definitely take the can down to your local bottle shop, your local independent bottle shop. They will have something similar to this that will absolutely blow your mind. I'm sure of it. There's a world of beers like this out there. Go find them. Until then, cheers.